Hey guys, it's Laurel and Pierre with Blue Walks on the Run, and today we're going to show you a Keystone Voltage 4225 toy hauler. And stick around to the end because we want to show you what are our least favorite and favorite features on this beautiful unit. Hey, here we are with a voltage. Laurel was just mentioning the little light up that it could be nice. Yeah, I think kind it's really, hard to see in the sun, it's really pretty at night. It's kind of cool. Rotoflex kingpin again with a swivel in the front, just like we have. Um, ready solar add-on go power. Uh, I know they already have solar on this for maintenance, just for maintaining your battery. Typical 30 gallon tank, one on each side. Uh, safety switch. Uh, regulator. Welcome to the garage. Welcome to the garage. You got the transfer switch you just went by. So that gives us an idea right away that we are having a generator installed in this, which would make sense because it's a toy hauler. Furnace on this side. Awning coming up to do an intricate from the furnace to the awning. Being at the same place, it's kind of okay. It's not under the awning. You're kind of right. But then you end up with a typical four step system for more ride. Then you end up with a slide out that comes out and your awning actually covers this slide out. So you lost this section. So I'm going to give you a hint of one thing that's going to be my least favorite. It's one of them. Triaxle, 7,000 pound axle, uh, more than 3,000 shackles on there. So nice upgrade, 21,000 pound total and it's actually rated 20,000 pounds. One little detail here, you still have the, the awning coming out but you have this foldable, what we're used to, those foldable steps that I kind of miss those compared to the big yeah, rack that we have nice. now. Yeah, I miss that. So that's tucked in there, so it's not in the way. So you end up in the back here, same thing, dual purpose. Legs for dropping it down and using it as a back deck or your ramp to actually unload your ATVs or whatever rig that you're bringing with you. Ladder that steps out at the roof. It's not removable, it just steps out a little bit so you can actually walk up there so you can have roof access. Your fuel tank reservoir, uh, your shut off switch. So you got a pump in there and in here, it's, I'm sure it's not open, no it's not. So you have your nozzles. So two different tanks for two different kind of fuel you bring in, race fuel and regular fuel. So here's the three And they have the frameless windows. Yep. That's a beautiful that's nice. feature. That's, I always like those. That's, that's really a nice feature. No, nice quality unit. Basic water heater, electrical and propane. Uh, wet bay garage, Lippert system for uh, hydraulic leveling. So nice, complete unit. The other propane tank. And then we end up in the front with our most favorite feature, Audi pre-rig. 5500 Onan Cummins engine, so that is cool. That is a nice feature. I love this. That's independence written all over it. Now, let's go inside to see what Lowell has to show us. If you're enjoying our video so far, we're going to invite you to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified when we post our next video. So come on in, let's check out this beautiful toy hauler. Right here in the front, you've got your control board with our push buttons. It's not that electronic computer board. We love the push button. But let's come into the main part of the living space. I have fallen in love with this particular toy hauler for this reason. You can sit on the couches from any angle and be able to see TV. I love this feature. And this Thomas Paine collection, they have the rip cords, so they're not electric, but you still have that rip cord, so you've got a lot of comfort and everything reclines, which is amazing. It's a feature we see a lot in toy hall. And in the kitchen, we have this huge pantry. Again, it is solid. You've got a lot of space in there for a lot of things. You've got this huge Norcold refrigerator, freezer. So, so when you're, go ahead. Propane and electrical. And I love this. A lot of times in toy haulers, you see a three burner stove. And in this one, Ooh. you've got the insignia four burner stove with the oven. And you also have the convection microwave. Look at all the cupboard space. I love the dark wood. This is really beautiful. But the space in here 
is phenomenal. Again, you've got the window right above the kitchen sink. So while you're doing dishes, you can enjoy your view, which, you know, we want to see the view when we're doing dishes. Up above this garage door, we have another little space where there is a ladder. So actually, a child could actually sleep up there or you can store things. And there's a window up there. In there. And we have a 13-foot garage. This is beautiful. And you have sleeping arrangements. You've got the bunk. You've got the uh, uh, padded, cushioned seats that come down electronically. And over here is a bathroom. I'm not going to unhook this, but these doors actually slide open right there. But they're, they're hooked in right now. So you've got a little toilet in there. So this one is for privacy, but actually if you pull this flat normally, it comes out. Ah, there you go. And you just do this. There. And now Beautiful. you just turn your bathroom into a throne. You got there this you go. whole space to yourself. The whole garage when... is your throne. Yeah. There. <laughs> there you go. And back into the main cabin. Washer cabin. dryer. Washer dryer in the garage, a lot of people put that in there. So this is beautiful. Absolutely love this. Coming up into the bedroom, and I'll let you come this way. This is the bathroom. With a pocket door here to close off the bedroom. Love the sinks. They've got a lot of storage above the sink uh, and below, which is nice. Nice large shower. Beautiful shower head, I love that whole mechanism. That's really nice. Again, you've got your king bed and you've got your storage underneath the king bed. And there's a table under there. So you can bring that out into the kitchen. You've got your sliding doors for your closet space and you have a lot of storage here as well. Yeah, yeah, Beautiful yeah. bedroom area. Really nice. You actually have storage because now your washer dryer goes in the garage. It goes in the garage, which is perfect. And coming down the steps, you've got your um, um, breaker box. Thank you, breaker box. Couldn't get those she words out. Is. I couldn't think of it. But in the comments below, let us know what do you love about this unit. What are you looking for when you're getting a toy hauler, or are you looking for a toy hauler? We're going to tell you our favorite features and least favorite favorite. I couldn't say that. We're gonna tell you our favorite and least favorite features, so stick around. I am ready and rolling. So what's your least favorite? My least favorite feature, I, I really like electric recliners. So the ripcord recliner, it's a no-go for me, but that's just me personally. I like to push a button and recline. Yeah, we what's don't yours? have kids anymore, so yeah. Um, my least favorite is, again, on the outside, there's an awning over this slide out that's right behind me, but it covers nothing, so. It covers the slide. That's it, so it's just put a topper instead. So yeah, that's kind of a negative feature for me. It wouldn't, the, the awning don't make sense. So that's it, that's my downside. So do you, let's do you have a favorite? Yeah, exactly. My favorite is typical and usual. This is generator prep. This is independence right there. That's what I like. And you got your fuel tank in the back for your toys. I mean, now that's two favorites. So I'm gonna stop by there. It's an that's awesome okay. unit. So what's when your you're favorite? on a positive roll, you should just stick with that. Yeah. What's my favorite? I love that the washer and dryer would be in the garage and not my closet. So that would give me yeah. more room in the closet. So I do really love that feature yeah. of having it in the garage. No, overall it is a nice unit. I'm happy we got through this. Hopefully you enjoy your trip. And remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.